Hi guys, I want to give you a little bit of a description of how to make panels. So here is my uh, overhead panel as it is now, and I'm going to explain how I uh, how I made these panels. They are all made by me. Um, so I've got a CNC railer here, and all these panels they were routed right here on this CNC. Um, so the process begins with um, just a plain sheet of acrylic. So I use the 4.5 millimeter wide acrylic. So it is actually uh, pure white inside, and um, you can see here see how white it is. So I used um, this model master paint to paint it. So I find it quite suitable, and um, it looks quite a bit as uh, quite a bit like bling gray paint to save on the actual uh, top coat i use this cheap black paint multiple coats of it to uh, to cover acrylic so that it does not transmit any light so you can see that it is, it is not transparent to the light so having painted the acrylic sheet it is then down to the uh, to, to the cnc to do the work here is an example of one panel. So it is engraved and cut. Then I mask off the panel to paint the edges because the edge is obviously white. So you can see the uh, see where the masking tape has been attached before. And there is the panel. Just um, a bit of a note on the tools I use. So mainly I use a uh, two millimeter single fluid end mill, like this one. It is used for cutting, and I use a, a number of engraving bits ranging from uh, 0.1 millimeter up to 0.5 millimeters. Um, this will be the, an example of uh, one of the simpler panels. More complicated panels. More complicated panels will look something like that. So to make these panels, apart from the usual engraving and cutting, you will also need to make the annunciators. So the annunciators have also been made right here on this CNC. To make them, I used um, transparent acrylic painted in black. So here is the annunciator. So it has been cut out of a transparent sheet of acrylic, 4.5 millimeter thick, just painted black. Again, then it was masked, and edges were painted so that it is not uh, trans it does not transmit light from the sides. And you can see that only the um, only the text illuminates. To make the back side, again, out of the same sheet of acrylic, transparent, I cut out the back side of the annunciator, then glue in two LEDs, connect them so that they can actually go on the back side of the panel. So here is the panel, turn it around, the annunciator back cover. It would go something like that.